All right, first graders, now it is time to start painting your sky, your sky for your beautiful wind painting. So to do that, we're gonna start with the light blue, just like we saw in the last video. We're gonna get some water on our brush and gently wipe it on the edge, and then get some light blue. And for the first one, it can just be a nice clear day, so I'm just gonna fill it in with light blue. I'm gonna, just gonna go carefully, and you can choose which direction you want your paintbrush to go, if you want it up and down or side to side, because it's a nice calm day. So the wind's not really going to be blowing. I'm going to draw, paint my sky in. Nice light blue. I'm going to take my time, go carefully around my sun. Paint the whole thing a nice light blue. All around it. So I get the whole sky painted in a nice light blue color. Keep going. Make sure I'm filling the whole space in. Now I have that sky all nice and blue. For the next one, when I'm painting my sky, I want to make sure that I paint sideways because we have our winds going and we want our paint to kind of follow the way that the wind blows. So I'm going to get some blue on my brush. And I'm still going to use a nice light blue because it's still a pretty nice day out. And I'm going to kind of bring my brush sideways to make it look like it's going the same direction that that wind is going. I can see right here there's some white spots that are showing, so I'm going to paint over those because I want the whole sky to be blue. So I'm going to keep going and adding my brush strokes to make it look like the wind is blowing. It's just a light breeze, so it's kind of blowing sideways. Keep blowing. I'm just going to keep going with my brush, painting that wind going sideways like that. Making sure I can see those brush strokes going the same direction my wind is going. I'm being careful I don't get too many puddles. And when I get to the edge, I can kind of go over the edge into the next square a little bit because the next square we're going to paint the same color. So now you can see our wind's kind of blowing sideways in that one. And then for our next one, it's starting to get a little darker because it's going to start to get even windier. So I'm going to use lots of paint on my brush, or lots of water on my brush. And I'm going to get some light blue. And I'm going to put it in the lid. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of darker blue to it. Just a tiny. We don't want it to be too much darker. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to start painting. And again, I'm going to paint it so it kind of follows the wind. So the wind's kind of blowing more sideways now. We're going to paint so that it's blowing sideways. And I'm going to keep mixing my paint and my lid. Add a little light blue a little dark blue and keep painting my wind. I'm going to paint it so it's going sideways along with my along with my wind from the last one. See how it's getting darker as it goes sideways? 
going to keep using that paint. I'm going to be careful painting around my waves. I'm going to get a little light blue, a little dark blue, mix it up. I'm making sure, look how much water I have on my brush. If you don't put enough water on your brush, it's going to cover up the, that wind that you drew earlier and you're not going to be able to see that awesome design you did. So you need to make sure you have plenty of water on your brush with just a little bit of paint. Plenty of water. Keep drawing those, painting it sideways so that it goes the same direction that your wind is blowing. Painting it sideways. Again, again, being careful that you're painting around that kite. Painting around that kite. And around those waves. Very carefully. Making sure that I have it all filled in. I've got that whole sky filled in. And then it's gonna get even darker when I get to my last square because look at all that gale force wind that's going through there. So I'm going to get some water on my brush. I'm going to use the dark blue and just a little bit of light blue to make a dark blue and then I'm going to start painting that in. And again it should go the direction that you want the wind to go. So paint those brush strokes the same direction that the wind is going in that painting. Paint in the same direction that the wind is blowing. Make sure you keep adding water to your brush. You should be adding lots of water to your brush. Oops, I would need to slow down a little. I was going too fast and I went over my wave. So I need to slow down a little. Paint that carefully. Add more water to my brush. Make sure I keep adding that water to my brush. Paint all of that same direction the wind is blowing. Paint it all in until I have the whole sky filled in. You see how it goes from a lighter blue to a darker blue as you go across the sky.